Hey guys, it's me, Arlene. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the newest release from the House of Dolce & Gabbana. This is another flanker. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, Intense. So, <laughs> for those of you who have been watching me, you probably know that I wasn't a fan of the only one or the only one two. I just found them to be very, very underwhelming and just not not good on my skin. But now they have released the only one Eau de Parfum Intense. And honestly, I did not have high expectations when it with this perfume at all. I just automatically assumed that I would not like it just based on the flankers. But <laughs> I'll just say it right away, you guys. This one really, really, really surprised me in a good way. I am I am a fan of this perfume. Mind you, I've only tried it a few times, so this is more like a first impressions, but uh, the times that I have worn it, I was I really, really enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> so let's get into the notes here. The notes on the top are Italian, Mandarin, Green Apple, and Neroli. In the mid, there's orange blossom, jasmine, and coconut. And in the base, there's vanilla, cedar, and cashmere wood. This perfume opens very unique, you guys. It, it is not a smell that I was expecting. What I got was this beautiful white floral sweetness along with a sweet woody vanilla scent. It smelled very, very natural on my skin. Um, it says Eau de Parfum Intense, but on my skin it wasn't really that intense. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm finding a lot of things where when perfume companies release things that are intense, they're actually not that intense. <laughs> Usually the other versions before, if they, if they were a flanker, they are more stronger, which is kind of weird. But anyways, so we have this very beautiful, rich white floral with this really gorgeous, sweet, woody, woody vanilla. And along with this, and this was the kicker, and this is the part that I enjoyed the most about this opening, is that you do get this really gorgeous green, a green character. It's like a sour green, like a sour green apple. Having that like extra sour kick in there of like a, a green apple sourness was just perfect and it kept on reminding me when I when I wore this perfume it kept on bringing me back to the setting of like a Japanese garden and you have all these beautiful gorgeous flowers and then you have all of the beautiful greenery around there and I was picturing in this Japanese garden like a geisha girl <laughs> walking through it very very elegantly and um this is what I think she would smell like. That's what I was picturing um, with this. It's very, very soft and elegant and there's a little bit of warmness in there, which I don't know where it's coming from, but it just balanced, this warmness balanced with that really nice tart sour green apple in here, which was just done really really well I <laughs> I gotta say you guys I was very very surprised so in the dry down of this perfume the woodiness started coming out more on my skin I did get the green apple still which is really really nice but on top of all of this what bloomed mostly in the dry down is the florals on my skin it was mostly an orange blossom it's mostly about this beautiful woody orange blossom <laughs> uh, with some sweetness that that orange blossom brings. Uh, maybe a little bit of neroli too, although those two uh, notes are, are related. So yeah, that was basically my thoughts on this fragrance. I should also mention that there are parts of this perfume that have reminded me of other perfumes. Uh, more specifically, when I talked about that woody vanilla, that woody sweetness it did remind me of Armani C Intense uh, which is one of my favorites from that collection and then you know that green apple sour tart semi-sweet uh, note in here that also reminded me of a Frederick Mall perfume called Promise and finally in the way dry down that orange blossom the beautiful beautiful 
orange blossom note that comes out in the dry down of this perfume reminded me of Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique. So uh, they're not the same though, you guys. I was just reminded of other things. It just came up in my mind. So I thought I'd mention that if you are a fan of any of those perfumes, then maybe something uh, you would like something or find something that you enjoy in this perfume. So <laughs> those are my thoughts on Dolce & Gabbana, The Only One, Eau de Parfum Intense. Based on my first impressions and when I have worn this, this gets uh, two thumbs up from me. I would totally wear this. It is so elegant, so feminine. Like I think men can wear this obviously, of course, but for me, I just get this idea of like this geisha girl be walking through the Japanese garden, <laughs> smelling the greenery, smelling all the flowers and just, you know, that whole setting of just being super, I don't know, light and elegant and feminine and it's just beautiful because Japanese gardens are are indeed beautiful <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I'd love to hear your thoughts on this perfume let me know in the comments uh, I'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye